Hi, my name is Ginger Fontenot, and our group is Sarah Gerlinghouse, Stacy Hackler, and Francine Poole. And we'll be talking about the mid-range theory of comfort by Catherine Kolkava. Kolkava was born in Cleveland, Ohio in 1944. She started her nursing career as a diploma nurse, obtained her master's, and finally her doctorate. Her nursing background consisted of med surge nursing, home health, long-term care, and she was also a head nurse on a dementia unit. Kolkaba maintains her ANA certification in gerontology. She's also a member of Sigma Theta Tau. She continues to teach part-time at the University of Akron. Kolkaba stated that in general, nursing theories organize disciplinary thinking, influence practice, and research. Mid-range theories contain fewer relationships and concepts. They can be adapted to a wide range of experience and practice, and they are built from many sources and are concrete enough to be tested. The theory of comfort, according to Kokaba, states that in a stressful healthcare situation, unmet needs are met by nurses. The nursing interventions are successful if enhanced comfort is achieved by patients compared with a baseline. The theory of comfort is based on patient needs, is holistic and humanistic. It was Kokaba's experience in a dementia unit during grad school that caused her to realize an important aspect of nursing was missing, comfort. In this case, comfort was used to prevent excess disabilities while patients were not in special activities. Theoretical sources used to form the theory of comfort were nursing, medicine, psychology, psychiatry, ergonomics, and the English language, focusing on Shakespeare's use of the term and the Oxford English Dictionary. The nursing sources used were Nightingale's use of comfort. Relief came from the work of Orlando, Transcendence from Patterson and Zerod, and ease incorporated from the work of Henderson. Murray's theory for human press was used as a framework for building Kolkava's theory. The aspect of health-seeking behaviors came from Schultfeld's concept. The empirical evidence related to an experimental design used in her dissertation in 1999 with patients diagnosed with breast cancer. It was tested with several different interventions and several different groups of patients from college students to hospice patients. The theory was tested again regarding the nature of holistic comfort and further validated. Kolkava has written numerous articles and continues to write. Her book is titled Comfort Care, Comfort Theory and Practice. Her website is The Comfort Line. And the articles used for our presentation and report included Evolution of the Mid-Range Theory of Comfort for Outcomes Research, Comfort Theory, a Unifying Framework to Enhance the Practice Environment, and a Theory of Holistic Comfort for Nursing. Hello, my name is Francine Poole and I'm going to discuss the major considerations of the theory of comfort. Uh, the client person is the healthcare recipient. There are individuals, families, institutions, or communities which uh, work together to enhance comfort levels. The environment is any aspect of the patient, family, or institutional setting which is manipulated to enhance comfort levels. Uh, the health is defined by the patient or the group uh, to be an opti optimal functioning. And in nursing, the assessment uh, of comfort needs or evaluation of patient behaviors, lab values, and things of that nature. And we also use um, different tools to assess comfort levels of the patient, which includes verbal rating skills and verbal questionnaires. <coughs> Sorry. The major concepts of the theory of nursing, of, com of the comfort uh, theory, is relief, ease, and transcendence. 
and there are four contexts, which are physical, psycho-spiritual, environmental, and social. Relief is the state that a patient uh, feels whenever they have their needs met. Ease is the state of calm or contentment. And transcendence is when one rises above their pain and problems. The four contexts, um, physical is uh, pertaining to your bodily sensations. Psycho-spiritual is pertaining to um, an awareness of the self, your concept, self-concept, self-esteem, sexuality. The environment is the external um, surroundings and the conditions which influence comfort levels. And social is pertaining to your interpersonal and family relationships. The major assumptions are that humans have a holistic response to complex stimuli, and that comfort is a desirable and holistic outcome that is important in the nursing discipline. Um, comfort is also a basic human need which persons strive to meet or have met. The theoretical assertions have three parts. Part one states that effective comfort interventions result in increased comfort for the recipients compared to pre-interventional baseline. Part two states that increased comfort of recipients of care engage in increased health-seeking behaviors. And part three states that increased engagement in health-seeking behaviors increase the quality of care and it benefits the institutions because they're able to formulate better practices and policies. Hello, I'm Stacy Hackler, and I'm going to go over the concepts, relationships, and review the schematic of Kolkava's theory of comfort. And the first section of the theory of comfort, uh, are, there are three parts, and they're identified and defined as, the, as healthcare needs, nursing interventions, and intervening variables that affect the comfort level of the patient. Healthcare needs are a result of a healthcare crisis that cannot be met by the patient's traditional support systems. Examples of, of healthcare needs might be in the realm of physical, psycho-spiritual, sociocultural, or environmental. Nursing interventions are defined as nursing actions which are designed to meet specific comfort needs for the patient and they are related, could be related to anything such as physi physiological needs, social needs, cultural needs, financial needs, spiritual or environmental needs. Actually is anything that we as nurses can do to help to make the patient comfort on any level. Then there are the intervening variables and these are factors that affect the patient's comfort over which we as caregivers have no control. Uh, some, some examples of these of intervening variables could be the prognosis of the patient, the financial situation that the patient's in, past experiences of the patient, their age, their cultural background, or the extent of social support which they have. The second part of Kolkava's theory of comfort is enhanced comfort. And she defines it as an, an immediate, desirable outcome of nursing care, which when delivered consistently over time is correlated with a trend toward increased comfort levels. So when we meet the needs of the patients and on all different levels, then their total comfort is enhanced. And when patients' needs are met on all these levels, the patients are strengthened and they're able to make better decisions. So with enhanced comfort, it will lead to health-seeking behaviors on the part of the patient, and these health-seeking behaviors could be internal, external, or a peaceful death. They also lead, once the patient's comfortable, enhanced comfort can also lead to increased institutional integrity uh, for the facilities that we work in. Um, and when the patients are comfortable and they're able to recognize that they received good treatment and their, their needs were met while they were hospitalized, then we get good we get good outcomes on our um, surveys that they turn in, and that leads to best practices and best policies for all of our facilities. The 
logical forms used by Kolkava in the theory of comfort included the deductive inductive stage, which she used the environmental framework in the mid-range theory of comfort. The deductive stage, Kolkava used Murray's theory of human press. This is also where she used the work of Orlando, Anderson, Patterson, and Zerads. Schultz's field concept of health-seeking behavior and outcome research. The theory of comfort is, re is uh, essential for research, education, and practice. In nursing research, it is used as a measurement for nursing sensitive outcomes. In nursing education, the comfort theory is used in the baccalaureate nursing programs. Student nurses find that it is an easy theory to understand and apply um, as far as addressing the holistic client needs. And the importance of the theory of comfort in advanced practice is recognizing uh, the universal need for patient client comfort. And this also ha has the uh, patient to increase their health seeking behavior whenever they reach the comfort levels. Good morning, I'm Sarah Gerlinghouse. I will be doing the scenario. Jana, a single college student who found herself pregnant, um, lives with her divorced mother and has come to the labor room in active labor. Uh, shortly after admission, her father with his single 24-year-old girlfriend arrives and her sorority sisters in mass. The unstable uh, family and social dynamics is increasing her anxiety level and her um, pain level. The nurse is applying Kolkava's theory of comfort to this situation. Uh, Susan is an advanced practice nurse in the labor unit. After she gets Jana settled in her room, she observes the social issues unfolding in her patient's room and Jana's rising anxiety level. The APN decides to take control of the situation early on to ultimately help her patient. Pain medication is administered per the patient's request. During the administration of the pain medication, Susan uses the opportunity to question her patient in regards to who's going to be present during the delivery and her birthing coach. Uh, the patient determines that it's going to be her mother as her birth coach, and that's all she wants during delivery. Susan uses this opportunity to remove the clutter from the room, lower the lightings, help reduce the noise level in the room by clearing out the excess per, uh, family members. Um, she addresses the visitation policy with the patient as well as with the family, and they have determined that it's going to be one person at a time in the room, further reducing the anxiety level of the patient. Limited visitation will be more conducive environment for the rest and relaxation during the long birthing process. And Susan will continue to continue closely monitor Jana, the fetus, and the situation closely while keeping the expected mother comfortable and stress-free as possible. During her reassessment, Susan finds Jana's pains more under control. She provides pillows for comfort and blankets for warmth. And Jana's expressing renewed self-assurance and control of the situation. She also tells the nurse that her needs are being met and the patient's anxiety level with the family dynamics is decreasing and she's better able to relax at this time. A little further down, she tells the nurse that her pain level is under control and her fear of uncontrolled pain has been diminished. She is able to take care of her techniques for breathing instructed by her mother and the nurse better and the patient has reached a level of acceptance and contentment with the external family and social dynamics surrounding her. Jana has achieved a level of comfort through transcendence in all four contexts of comfort according to Dr. Kolkava's theory of comfort. On our table, we have the four implications um, of the theory of comfort, which is the physical, the psycho-spiritual, the environmental, and the social. Each of these must go through each stage, relief, ease, and transcendence. By giving her pain medication and controlling her pain, we have addressed relief for the physical, the reassessment of pain control, positioning for comfort using pillows, warmth for blankets, has eased her further into it. And her fear of pain resolved, patient grasped the understanding of the pain level being controlled is her transcendence of the physical. Her psycho-spiritual reassurance and encouragement, 
She comprehends and expresses her self-assurance and control through the labor process. Patient realizes her own abilities and assists him with the pushing and breathing techniques. Environmental, we've lowered the lights, removed the clutter, reduced noise level, minimized excess visitation. The patient acknowledges increased comfort to the nursing staff and she's able to rise above it, these external dynamics surrounding her. Determine on the social issue, she's determined who the birthing coach is and will be present for delivery. We were to send everyone else to the waiting room. Patient expresses contentment despite the dysfunctional situation and the patient is now content with the family issues at present time as best as can be possible. In summary, Dr. Kolkava's theory of comfort was developed for the discipline of nursing to improve the patient outcomes. The mid-range theory is applicable to a wide range of healthcare situations, and Dr. Kolkava's mid-range theory of comfort is simplistic and continues to evolve and enhance advanced nursing care research and education. We've included a little poem that Dr. Kolkava herself has liked and she includes in her papers. It is called Comfort, written by a student nurse, S.D. Lawrence. Comfort may be a blanket or breeze, some ointment here to soothe my knees, a listening ear to hear my woes, a pair of footies to warm my toes, a PRN medication to ease my pain, someone to reassure me once again, a call from my doctor or even a friend, a rabbi or priest as my life nears the end. Comfort is whatever I perceive it to be, a necessary thing defined only by me. Thank you.